Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use multiple stage displays with different content at the same time. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. In the last couple of weeks, I've seen a ton of people asking the same question. How can I have multiple stage displays with different content on them? Well. The obvious way, just adding more displays, won't work in ProPresenter 6. The stage display is meant to be shown on one TV or projector only. But there are at least two other ways to do it. So let me show you how I got four to work at once. Most of the time, you're going to want to not use a dual head to go or a triple head to go and you'll just have a single output and a single stage display. But there are reasons to do it a little bit differently. So let me show you how I have this set up today. If I go into Preferences, you would expect that if I had a dual head to go, it would be the output that was on the dual head to go output. But it's not. I've got the stage display set there. And you might be wondering why I would do such a thing. Well, let me show you. Here I have two outputs that are stage displays <coughs> showing the current slide and the next slide. And they're showing those individually. So that's the first way that you can show different outputs of a stage display is you can basically just configure it so that one part is on one half and another part is on the other half. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the downside of doing this is if I disable the stage display and bring up configure stage display, let me drag that over so that you can see. That bad boy is really wide because it has created the configuration to match the the width, more or less, of how large the output monitor is. So that's one way of doing it, but you can see that this is basically, a, I've got the dual head to go working here, and so it's got Everything on one side is the next slide, everything on the other is the current slide, and I just tweaked these until I could find exactly where the middle between the two were. I could have uh, provided a little bit of uh, margin if I wanted to. Either way, that uh, accomplishes the same thing. But another couple of ways to do it is if I click in here, got one of these, then you can get access for you and your team to all my courses and books, whether it's just a couple of people or multiple campuses. Just choose the multi-site plan if that's you. Oh, and I take purchase orders too. So if you'd like to automate your training and take your church's tech ministry to the next level, go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and get started today. Now back to the tutorial and go to these other layouts, you'll see that I've got one that is notes only and one that's everything but the slides. And the everything but the slides includes a clock, a video countdown. This is notes um, for a chord chart, chord chart notes, and than a place for a message. So I've got this layout showing up on my iPad. So 
this is what it looks like in the wide layout. Not very helpful actually at all in this layout, but on my iPad it's very helpful. So if I was a musician and I had this on stage, maybe I would like this so that I could see any messages, I could see my chord chart, um, I could see the current time, and this is video time right over here. So that's helpful. And this other one that I did on my phone is notes. So in this case, instead of just putting notes to myself, uh, what I've put is uh, chord charts. So if I prefer to have the chords this way instead of as the PDF in the chord chart layout, then I could do that. And if we go back to the computer, and I go back and change this back to the dual SD layout, and then we just get rid of it. You'll see that I have the dual stage display layout, my iPad on the everything else layout, and my iPhone just disconnected, but the iPhone is on the um, the iPhone is on the notes only layout. And those can be in any combination. I could have the two stage display apps follow what ProPresenter does, but it's really powerful that I can choose my own layout, the one that I prefer, on multiple devices. So that's how to get the stage display on multiple devices in ProPresenter. I admit that using the Stage 2 app isn't really a hack. That's what it's supposed to do. And it makes perfect sense when you imagine all of your musicians with their own preferred stage display layouts on their iPads or phones. That said, using a dual head to go, or triple head to go for that matter, is a way to do it that I thought would work and then heard that there were other churches doing it. So I wasn't surprised that when I tried it, it did. Just remember that like a lot of the hacks on this channel, this one isn't really supported. So ask me questions you have. Don't bug Renewed Vision if you have issues. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help train the people at your church, or organization, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and join where the first month is just a dollar and it's free for the first month for the yearly and multi-site plans. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.